okay, so this guide is not supposed to be going through all what the best builds are and this that, and the other and showing you everything that you can find in the game. It's just a little bit of help if you are um, a beginner and you want to see how to open various shortcuts and things uh, at the start of the game. So uh, I've chosen Lone Survivor here for the um, just a bit of vitality that you get at the start. That's useful if you're not wanting to die very often. Um, and so here we go. So here we are, starting in Yosefka's clinic. Um, if you are actually sort of playing the game and, and want to sort of find out everything, and do obviously read all the little bits and pieces, uh, but I'm not going to be showing you all those details on this particular uh, video. We just want to come out these doors. And if we go down here. Now we're going to encounter um, a werewolf kind of thing in a minute. And you can kill this. Uh, you can get behind it and stun it and so on, but I'm just going to look through it. You can get behind it and give it a smack. It's the quickest way to get to our weapon. So we'll just die there. By all means, I'll go and kill it. And this is where we're going to get our weapons. Um, we'll be talking to the doll later. Weapons wise, they're all good weapons. Um, I think for this little playthrough, I'm just going to choose the Hunter's Axe. Saw Cleave is very popular. Um, the two guns that you get, you basically get uh, a pistol, which has got slightly better range, um, or the Blunderbuss, which does a little bit more um, spread in its damage. So it's a bit easier to. Um, to stagger the opponents with the blunderbuss probably. Um, I choose the pistol for now. You can always buy whichever one you don't get later. So we'll get those and now we want to equip them. So we'll just get our little menu up here, go to our arms, there's the tracks and if you press R2 you can then slide through to your second weapon which you've not got yet and then R2 again to get to your pistol which we can equip with X and then we've got them both there. We get to awaken back in the room where we started. When you get back here, you might want to just turn around before you head off down the stairs down there. You just run back up these stairs to Are you? talk to your Sefka. Then I'm very sorry. I am I. And she'll give you a blood vial, which now, is quite useful. Uh, it's worth listening I... to what she has to say, but not for this. So now we're going to go and deal with that wolf that causes a problem earlier on. And it should be no bother now. Just target it by clicking your right stick. And then we'll go. Uh, some blood vials off him. Come through here, and on the left, we've got some more blood vials. And then out we go. Perfectly safe out here, there's nothing going to get you in the immediate area. So you don't need to be. Bullets. Again, when they come out here, you're safe. You've got to go up the ramp a little way before there's any danger. So you can come 
through here, and we're just going to scoot across and ground. Oh, now, I'm not going to be grabbing every single item. Um, from now on, I'm literally just going to sort of show you where the shortcuts are. We're going to get this gate open and a few other bits and pieces. Let's just deal with our friend over here. So, I'm not going to be grabbing all the items. There's plenty of uh, videos out there showing you all that kind of stuff. I just want to show you a quick route round to some of the shortcuts. So you get a bit of the game opened up. This is one of the things that I found quite tricky when I started playing. I'm going to climb up this ladder. I'm going to play at least. Screen at us. Deal with him a bit. And then there's our first. Our second lamp. The first one we click. And we could go back to the Hunter's Dream, but there's no point right now. We're going to get this gate opened here. Uh, we'll do that first. Now, I'm going to run past a lot of the enemies here. Um, if you want to fight them and get your skills going, go for it. Um, but I'll just, I'm just going to finish opening up at the moment. If you've not played the game before, when you die, all the enemies respawn. So that's why you want to open up the shortcuts and things. Um, so that that's when they respawn. Route round the two decide to do that. So we're just going to run through all these now. So just holding your circle button, take a route around the outside. Watch your stamina because when that runs out, you're going to need to let it replenish a little bit before we run again, which means we're going to down there. Get that nice and lace up. Guy shooting you up. Go up an angle like this and these bullets will hold you this. There you go. And sometimes they follow you through there, but if you to do it's only one or two, and you'll be able to fight them. Triangle to get the health back up. And then we're just going to go down here. We're going to kill these dogs. Oops. There's one down here that escapes in front of you, so watch out for that. And there's another one around the corner. And um, down that corner on the left there, but we'll bother with him later. How's it? Might as well say right now that I'm no skilled gamer on this at all and very average, which is one of the reasons I wanted to make this because a lot of the videos out there, the people that you sort of see playing it have got really, really good skills, skills that I didn't have when I first started playing it um, and still haven't got. Um, so this is what it's like for an average person running through trying to do things. Um, after those dogs there, rather than go down, um, down there definitely, rather than go down and away and where we're going to go in a bit, I just came up the stairs uh, and we're going down here now, so I'm going to shortcut. Uh, we're going to go in here. This is a really useful shortcut. Uh, there's a guy on the left here as we go in, we'll just kill him. And then this guy in a wheelchair. He's going to shoot you if you want to get first. Get first. Pick up the bullets that he drops. And straight away, we're just going to open the shortcut up back to the start. Which is long here. Watch out for the guy on the right there. Watch out the way in. Sit down. And we get a nice bloodstone shard. And we've also opened the escape that's here. And that makes life a little bit easier. Still no point in going back there yet because you're not going to need uh, insight at the moment. If you look top right, um, underneath my blood echoes where it says 1211, that little eye symbol there where it says zero, that's our insight. And we need one insight before we can talk to the doll and level up. And that's the point in going back to the hunter's dreams to level up. So there's no point in doing that yet. What we're going to do is run back round that route again that we just did. And this time, go a slightly different way. So we'll just scoot past these guys again. Exactly the same as before. So let your stamina in front of And we're going to do our angle running again here just in case you get to pull it off. This time, we're going to go off to the right. Can go and kill this guy down here. No, you have to do this if you don't want. I'm just going to try and get a visceral on him. Missed. That's a charging pack with R2. 
Uh, and if you get them in the back before they turn around, it stuns them. And then if you run up and hold in R1, you can get a visceral attack, which does a lot of damage. But you don't have to kill that guy if you don't want. We're just going to come running around here. Uh, you could have just gone straight across and up here. Now this bit, the best way to do that I find here is to run in and kill the two dogs straight away. So we're going to go and kill this one. And then we're going to run around to the left over here. Oops, I missed it. This one. Now we'll just get out of the way. And we've got the two on the side. Three guys can fight us. And you've not got the dogs running around anymore. So it's nice and straightforward. Let's go to the, the big one and have hunters at. Avoid the guy with the gun, he's over on the side over there. Ooh. Okay, do be careful in this game, no matter how long you've played it, um, with a little bit of uh, a lack of attention, just about anything can kill you, even when you've played it a lot. Um, in fact, one of the worst things you can do is running around being cocky, thinking, oh, it's right, I've played a lot of time before, these are easy enemies, um, they can destroy you. So, we're just going to go through here. Grab this. There's all the people we ran just a minute ago. And this little route down here is a way of getting some reading around quite early on in the game. Now, is it gear, what I'm going to call it. So we're dropping down here, and then down here, and then down here. We'll lose a little bit of health. And then drop down again. And ahead of us there, there's a bad guy, and we're going to try and get a stun on him when he pulls his arm back. It's going to be quite tricky. You might need some practice. So, there we go, we're running. I just use surgery to get a forward stun on him. Stunned. We get the visceral attack, and we're going to try and do the same with this guy. And then I'll try and get his attention. Oops, yeah, press the right button. With a bullet. Yeah, that was me. What are you going to do about it? The timing on that can be difficult at first. You just practice it if you die, and come back again, and die, and come back again. Don't worry about it, just, just keep practicing. This guy can be a pain. Um, he's a bit nastier than the others. A bit quicker. He does a bit more damage. If they get hit in, whoops. I'm going to say you will get in there. Um, if they do get hit, if you just do that and jump in, you can often regain your health with the visceral attack. So I'm always ready to sprint back in if they get that little hit, don't worry about it. If you stun him, if you don't stun him, then back off, heal. Now we're going to try and drop down here. Line yourself up using your camera. If you fall to the floor, just get ready to fight the rat. If you don't fall to the floor, then just go along here, grab this, just for a minute. And now we're going to get the rat, we're going to target him and just drop on him and get a hold of him. We don't go down there just yet. And on the left, on the corner, there's a bad guy, so we've got to watch out. It's one of those nasty ones again. We're going to try and do the same thing again. So, certainly he's got both, he's probably fallen the back of Yeah. But he'll take a lot of damage in the lines. This is some useful equipment. So we can look a bit nicer than we look at the moment. So I'll press our options button, go down to our gear, and I'm just going to swap out. And just like before, press R2 to switch to your chest, R2 to your arms, and R2 to your legs. Select an X each time. And then there we go, look a lot nicer, cleaner, less blood, and a bit tougher as well. And so now we're going to go and take care of that guy. You can get that. Um, I was pointing at the screen then, actually, funny. Um, you can get the item there, I can't remember what it is, um, but bear in mind those corpses are going to come alive and I'm not going to bother with that just yet probably. I'm just going to drop down onto here and then onto this uh, other one and then we're going to kill that guy from before him. Um, and there's not a lot of health left, so I'm going to do the trick. I'm hoping to land on him and get a hit, but that will do. I'm going to heal up these ladders. They're not very fast, those creatures on the floor, so don't worry about them. 
and we're going to head up 